After a bad relationship with a person who caused more trauma than good, I am left in a state of feeling completely lost. I've been going through the stages of grief and I've listened to countless talks. Some days are good, some are bad, but I can't help but feel dull and lost. My wish is to live the life I'm being given. and Part of me feels I'm too negative and pessimistic. I seem to have a very hard time processing the information I'm given and finding the practical uses for it as all my thinking seems foggy and muddled. Thank you for your time and your help. Where is it, this one? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't know how many different ways I can say this, but our, 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 our present nature, our mind, which is our mind, it, it, is the, it is the present mind of humanity, the present mindlessness of a humanity whose consciousness is divided. It is to only know itself through the objects that it creates. This mind cannot <coughs> know itself other than gazing inwardly. <coughs> Excuse me upon the thoughts that appear on the screen of the mind. You don't see thoughts like the bouncing ball, but they're, they're impressions, they're sensations, they're images without form that, that have a real form to the part of you that experiences them, but our eyes don't see these images, these objects. That this mind that only can know itself through the objects that it produces so as to validate the experience of self has no notion whatsoever that, the, that, that real life has nothing to do with the evaluation of a mind's and its objects. It literally doesn't come into our mind to, to first to be able to see that, let alone to, to consider that my experience of every moment is, is basically me sitting in a private theater <laughs> looking at a screen that my mind is plugged into that throws up what it does so that through association I can recognize it and then come up with a way that I feel about it. When the whole point of that thought or feeling and the self it's produced, the whole reason is to validate something that was intended before the picture got there. Now, what I'm getting at is this. That mind, which is what we are working to awaken from, which is what all of the effort is about, cannot understand that life is change. And that not only is life change, but our nature is intended to be never-endingly changing with it. So that every event, this woman betrayed me, he did this, they did that, all our mind can do is instantaneously formulate an image of what took place and then inherent in the image, which is the projection of my experience, validate me who's looking at this, it can't imagine that the purpose of that experience was to reveal to me that in this instance, I couldn't tell a good person from a bad person. Mm -hmm. I didn't know right from wrong. But now by the grace of God, I'm being given the experience by which I'm asked, do you want to change? If you want to change, you need to see that the you that's grieving over this situation is the same you that dragged you into it. Right. Then I don't change as long as I look at life like that. But if the shock of life comes to me based on, listen, not something's wrong with you. You're asleep. Do you look at somebody in their bed, husband's wife? Do you look at your husband or wife? Do you look at your child laying in the bed and go, God. Look at that. 
They're asleep. <laughs> do you? Not unless you had a fight the night before. <laughs> no, you don't do that. Why? They're asleep. You're asleep. You can't help it. But you can start to know you're asleep. And then instead of the judgment of yourself or others, or this lethargic state that comes over when I'm awash in despair over my idiocy, none of that matters anymore because you've already changed. <laughs> but you see, you have to have the... I'm never, I don't like this. I won't use it. You have to have the internal understanding and the courage that it grants you to stop to let go, to see how idiotic it is to walk around in a ceaseless woe is me state because I was asleep. You were asleep. You've had a shock. Use it. Let it help you persist through this pain instead of letting pain put you in its prison. It all sounds very logical when you, when you say it. <laughs> look, uh, 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 it uh, you know what? I'll address that. That's an important thing. <laughs> At first, it, these things can only fall on certain parts of you. But see, if they just fall on a part and then you don't work with the principle to actually attempt the things that we talk about, that's all it'll do. It'll just remain a little part. You'll resonate, by the way, only for a certain amount of time. The part of you capable of, of vibrating in corresponding energy to a truthful idea, if it isn't connected to a broader set of, of, of parts of yourself, it will basically vibrate itself into death. It will get so, it'll get so stimulated, it'll just gradually come to a dead stop. And then you will lose your capacity to feel even what you felt. And that's right out of scripture. Those that have shall get, those that don't shall lose. That was priceless.